so good morning to all of you um, on friday i had um, given one pdf for the last chapter that was chapter 8 internet tools with that assignment or the worksheet question answers you had to write it in your copy i hope you all have done that and with that that chapter will be completed now i'm going to start with chapter 9 that is computer safety and ethics okay so let's start it till now you people are knowing that what are the advantages of internet while sitting at one place you can do many things you don't have to go from one place to another so many advantages we have gone through but there are some disadvantages also let us start with that first one risk of malware attacks while using internet you can become a victim of so many types of viruses malware worms trojan horses many type kind of viruses are there because you are not knowing what kind of files you are downloading okay so you can be a victim of victim of malware attacks loss of privacy of personal data and information yeah of course it is being done many websites are there which will collect your personal details and without your permission they can share it with the third party also so there is loss of privacy inability to differentiate between virtual world and reality whatever happening on screen you are incapable of differentiating from reality lack of physical exercise as a result of spending long hours on the computer nowadays instead of going out and playing people love to sit in front of mobile phone smartphone or laptop deterioration of social skills as people are more comfortable interacting online you can say they don't have time to meet people uh, personally from face to face interaction has decreased yeah that is true uh, during that lockdown period it was required but before that also people used to have online meetings instead of going to that person's place and having a face to face interaction then risk of identity theft your details your account will be taken by someone else and they will try to impose themselves as if you are talking on their behalf so there is risk of identity theft access to dis disturbing and inappropriate content in between while using internet there are some contents which will open its own and you are not aware of that so there uh, there is uh, means access to disturbing disturbing and inappropriate content last one loss of productivity and disinterest hobbies as result of spending a lot of time on the internet so these are the disadvantages of internet <coughs> next what is computing ethics see uh, for everything there are some rules like when you are sitting on a for dinner you, you people are sitting there are some manners rules which you have to follow which is no etiquettes okay some etiquettes are there while having your food same way while using computer or internet some rules have to be followed those rules only are known as computing ethics let me read this definition once for you computing ethics are rules that govern on our actions when we use computers and the internet these specify actions that are acceptable and the ones that are punishable by law let me give you one example uh, while using any social networking site let's say facebook some inappropriate content if you are posting like uh, against some community which is not acceptable objectionable uh, content you are posting then it is punishable by law okay you can be caught by them so don't do that next is what is spamming this is a uh, spam or junk mail both are um, similar to similar okay spamming basically when some organization sends a bulk amount of emails to people just to advertise their products or just with the intention to clog the email box and all that is spamming you must have noticed that when you open your email inbox you will be having different kinds of messages like you will be getting this type of loan you will be getting a smartphone if you will do so you can get a credit loan so many advertisements are there but you have not given your email address to them how come they are sending those messages to you must be thinking about that so spams are bulk amount of messages sent by from unsolicited resources or the people whom you don't know they are sending messages to you spamming is the act of repeatedly sending unsolicited messages called spams those messages which are sent 
this with this process are known as spams to a large number of recipients spams are usually advertisements featuring products or services sent to users who have not requested them you don't know them but they are sending the messages to you okay then harmful effects of spam you must be knowing the effects let me read it one by one clogs the mailbox pura mailbox bhar jata hai then it may contain links to uh, other viruses also you click on this then you will get an iphone and you will click on that moment you will click on that some kind of virus will get downloaded to your computer okay so important emails may get lost in a heap of unnecessary junk mail so nowadays that facility is there that we have separate folders for junk mail spams and your inbox email which are required but suppose the separation is segregation is not there then all the emails required necessary mails will also be means hidden in those he uh, bulk amount of unnecessary messages it will be difficult for you to identify which one is for me which one is not required you have to keep on searching and you will keep on deleting the unrequired messages okay causes wastage of internet bandwidth as users tend to open useless mails disguised as useful ones we have some limitations of in we have a data pack this much only will be getting and instead of using that data pack for useful things any message which you feel that it can be useful one which has all also sent from an unsolicited source you will open that there also your data will be used and that is all an unrequired message so causes wastage of internet bandwidth internet bandwidth means the amount of data which is means exchanged from server to your computer then how can you avoid spam and as i told nowadays we have separate folders so that type of filters can be set to scan your mails and segregate spam or junk mail into a separate folder do not share your email id while placing a request or making an inquiry on a website websites often share these email ids with third parties who can send you who can send you spams as i told while filling a form while downloading some data they will ask you enter your email id into your phone number for that purpose you can create some other email id especially for those purposes also only which you are not opening okay you keep your personal email id separate and for this purposes you can create a separate email id so these are the ways how you can avoid spams and then comes what is hacking hacking let me before reading this uh, definition suppose you have created some data security system our schools data is stored there and security is strong to check that are there any loopholes in the security we appoint hackers they will try to steal the data from our data system and if they are successful those are the loopholes that even this type of security was there then also people can steal our data so hacking is the process of breaking into computer system by identifying the technical weak points of the security system using a smart programming solution okay and the person who is doing that are known as hackers and they are doing it ethically means it's not a punishable they are doing it since they have been they are being appointed by the company to find out the loopholes in their security system and once they will find out the loopholes those loopholes will be corrected so that other people cannot hack the data these are then ethically they are also known as white hat hackers because it's not punishable they are not doing something wrong they are appointed by the company only to find out the loopholes in their security system hackers are proficient programmers who hack into a system to check the vulnerability of their own system or a client system once a problem area is detected they advise or devise solutions and recheck once the uh, solution is been given then again they will recheck to find out the loopholes are there loopholes again is the system uh, working properly is the data can be stolen again and again if some loopholes are there it can be corrected again so this process keeps on going on unless or near date unless or until your security system becomes strong okay so remember hackers are also known as white hat hackers next comes the term crackers crackers are just opposite of hackers they are also known as 
black hat hackers because their intention is the same means uh, their work is same they will try to find uh, they will try to break the security of the security system of your data and they will not do it for some good purpose they will do it for stealing the information and then that important information will be uh, sold to some people for some money okay so crackers are just opposite of hackers they will try to steal the data they will try to steal some important information and then they will sell it for some money okay they are known as black hat hackers then comes the term phishing it's not that phishing just uh, concentrate on the spelling it is the illegal practice of sending emails to lure people into visiting a website that is copy of an original legitimate organization to collect their personal details such as user names passwords or credit card details let me give you an example you all are aware of www.amazon.com flickcard.com but while using those websites you know sometimes same type of link will be given to you and you will get attracted that you will be getting this that th this type of prize and that type of prize you should always see the link spelling ones amazon is m a z o n but they will post it like m a m a z a n you will not go through the spelling you will, oh if this is amazon only and you will click on that then they will ask you to give your username password to log in and then some kind of products will be shown which are just fake products there and they will ask you for entering the credit card details you will do so so they are trying to steal your details by by imposing themselves as if they are someone else clear so you will have to be very much attentive while using internet while opening any website just see the spelling link link spelling how they have posted it and then when once you are very much assured that this is a legal website then only you will click on the link so imposing someone as if they uh, showing themselves as by using someone's else identity is known as phishing just to collect username password or credit card uh, and credit card details then comes safety measures in computing how you can make your data safe what are the measures you can go through first one use strong passwords nowadays you must have noticed whenever you create password they will ask you to enter a combination of capital letters small letters special characters and the length of the password should be long so that it it will be very difficult for a second person to break that okay then do not share any impersonal information on the internet don't do so if you don't if you do not recognize the sender of the document or file do not open or download the document or file if you feel that the message has come from some unknown source don't click on that simply delete it then install an antivirus software in your computer that is very much important and keep on updating that antivirus once you have installed it and you are not updating it that that way it will not work you should keep on updating it you fix the date automatically the updates will be downloaded okay so that's all for today's class i hope you all will go through the whole video and you will underline the important points from this uh, up to this topic in your book and i'm not going to post any uh, question answers now one more video for this will be posted and along with that question answers also will be given so thank you and have a nice day